Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and let's begin playing some 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess. Okay, begins with Queen pawn opening, which will translate into London system shortly. Bishop on f4, pawn to e3. Standard moves in the London. Um, can I convert it into Jawara? Let's try. Let's try and do something more encouraging, I would say. I'll play knight on to f3. Um, bishop e2. Let's go ahead with pawns. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Are we willing to play? Um, let's be more cautious as well. Looking forward to play g4 next. Of course, this have to be careful with this angle. Hitting my pawn and rook. I can definitely play pawn forward. Or let's just get the bishop active first so that there's no threats of discover attacks on the pawn and the rook once I play pawn forward. If open castles now, that's the best thing that can happen to me. Doesn't and would like to use this to pin the knight. Of course, pawn forward is a move which can be played any time now. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me. More subscribers, more the reach of the channel. And I can continue following a passion as well, apart from my job, which I always do. Let's see if my opponent takes here. Of course, it's not a pin anymore, but I have enough attackers here. I'll take with the knight. If now knight takes, I take with the bishop. And the bishop pair would be eyeing a very nice diagonal. I have to be careful with discoveries now. And opponent closes the chain in himself. That's really helpful. I'll play pawn forward. Can play it one step further as well. Or I can take either is fine. If I take, I have to castle first on the queen side. That attacks my bishop. So I can come back. Pawn forward can be played. I have this queen coming over to d3 as well then. This is already eyeing the diagonal towards the queen side if my opponent does think of castling. I have to be a bit careful because my rook is not defended. I haven't castled yet. Yep, finally the opponent plays pawn forward. I can of course come back. Can be... Can this, this can hurt. Not much. Okay, place pawn forward so that I don't move ahead further. Let's just play queen here, preparing to castle. Open can play pawn forward and I can come back. Not an issue. Um, yeah, let's just come back. That's completely fine. Pawn is anyway safe. And I can move back to g2 as well with the bishop. Okay, can acquire the square and then take, but why do I need to take here? I think I should just cancel as well. Let's put the place. I have castle queen side here. Interesting kind of pawn structure. Okay, attacks my queen. Let's trade off the queens or just save the queen for now. 
let's just save the queen i'm going to trade it off right away bishop here is one move that would hit the queen so i have to move the queen next again doesn't play anyway that gives me the square for the bishop which is really nice controls the center can play pawn forward opponent does take i take can be a good pawn structure but if opponent uh, moves ahead of course i have a backward diagonal available okay my pawn is undefended bishop is under attack i should be trading here okay let's kick this knight away goes back There's no other option, of course, check doesn't work. I'm hitting it backwards. Uh, let's just save the pawn, important pawn. The bishop over here always defends the rook as well, just in case I do some rook lift here. Um, I have to use my knight more wisely and of course, pawn break has to happen sometimes. can double up the rooks as well and push the bone forward. Uh, have got close to a minute extra. Should be helpful in the end game. Okay, knight here. What is it doing? Nothing much can come here and stand there for some time. Let's just go ahead with the pawn break. Or the opponent pushes the pawn forward. Does push. Um, let's double up here. Okay, still doesn't bother me much. doubling up trying to push pawn forward next so open stops can move the king here and then play pawn forward he's hitting the pawn and the rook and both are defended Okay, bishop on the diagonal, which means a discover attack might happen anytime. So just let's move out of the discovery and still defend everything. That's the challenge because the pawn is important on e3. Can I push pawn forward? I can't. I take my queen here, which still defends. And now maybe push pawn forward. I can. Knight goes back. Let's trade here. Takes with the queen. Knight is not defended. Let's defend it. A pawn goes. We don't see that coming. I can take this. takes and I just move on to the dark square knight here or let's trade the bishops okay uh, I have to defend the knight Let's go here. This attacks. Now this pawn is weak. I'll push pawn forward. Attacks my knight. 
in defend open can take but so can i oh it doesn't trade i'll defend the pawn moves the pawn forward i can take this takes takes okay let's defend everything what well, takes the knight which is okay i defend everything and i went on time comfortably could have saved the knight of course but was trying to play on time as well so fair enough sometimes you have to play on time as well had got extra one minute which i utilized properly at the end could have been more comfortable but yeah win is a win let's analyze from computer perspective so solid opening as always knight b7 bishop on e2 was passive but i had ideas of breaking up the pawn structure there and castling queen side uh, i just got my bishop aligned first then pinned the knight over there and went with pawn forward open takes i take with the knight trades happen and this is what i was thinking that a discover attack can come on to attacking the rook if i save the rook here somehow why is that a bad move just because i lose the tempo because opponent got an extra pawn that's it can go here and exchange the knight as well so that's a loss of tempo that's why such a huge advantage to the opponent but opponent played pawn forward which was bad i tried to break open the pawn structure but that was not going to happen anyway soon between the bishop e3 f5 just got my bishop backwards i'm the same diagonal still castling on the queen side knight comes up i defend the queen king moves sideways acquired the right square with the bishop had to trade here but to kick the knight goes back bishop backwards i can push pawn forward here but i with f4 first open place pawn forward I to just double up there and open played rook at six and it was a pretty much even game going on vs black has advantage due to uh pawns being advanced further and then i just tried to maneuver my pieces a discover attack is coming so i had to defend the queen there just trying to maneuver queen and safeguard everything at the same time and pushing the knight away open goes back i take on the pawn open takes with the queen i defend the knight i had to open uh, okay so best move here is oh if rook comes here how am i saving this i can save this by moving the knight so let's see if you were to come here i would have thought of moving this knight away and most likely here opponent can trade for a pawn or can just take an extra pawn this makes more sense and then i can defend but then eventually i'll be losing a lot of material here another pawn and these center pawns are going to be the key factor in black's victory that's why the advantage but opponent gets the knight in between which i take open takes with the bishop i go back queen takes the pawn you can take another pawn but trades the bishop instead so here game is in my favor i move the knight to the wrong square yeah i didn't see that okay i can go here and then pr preparing to move the knight over to d6 could have been nice idea okay then open place rook backwards i play pawn forward okay here i try to trade queens which my opponent deny and then just i try to defend the pawn there open place pawn forward i can get my knight back but i don't i take the pawn instead opponent also oh he could have taken the knight which he doesn't 
and takes on the pawn. And take, he takes. So this was decent here. And I can save my knight and the check of any kind by placing backward. But I got my queen down instead, and that was time up. So yeah, white wasn't that great, but yeah, survived on time mostly. Otherwise, most of the advantage was towards black. But you can play on time and win games as well. Sometimes that's okay. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already by now. Give a thumbs up to the video and see you tomorrow with another game of mine. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.